I've built here a, sort of a standard um, single open feed water heater ranking cycle. So this uses water. We're using the steam uh, the steam tables uh, property package or the equation of state, really uh, in uh, thermodynamic terms. And there is one, two pumps, two turbines, and there is a splitter here to extract some of the steam that then gets recycled. That's why there's a recycle block here. So it gets sent back to a mixer, which is essentially an open feed water heater. Uh, and I've set the properties so that the uh, the first pump uh, pumps the fluid up to, I believe it's a thousand kilopascals or one megapascal. So outlet pressure, 1000 kPa, so one megapascal, it's a hundred percent efficient pump. And the second pump brings the fluid up to 5,000 megapascals or five or 5,000 kilopascals or five megapascals, right? 5,000 kPa, and it's set to outlet pressure. And the turbines, um, do the opposite, uh, sort of the opposite operation. So the first, the high pressure turbine brings the fluid down to 1000 kPa or one megapascal. And the second turbine brings the fluid down to the condenser pressure, which should be 10 kilopascals. So here it's set to, we'll see it in a moment. It's set to outlet pressure, and outlet pressure is 10 kPa. And the condenser then returns the fluid so it returns the fluid at normally at a saturated liquid state. So outlet vapor fraction is zero and the calculation mode is set to outlet vapor fraction. Okay, so each of the devices or each of the blocks set the pressure and the temperature. I didn't go over this, but I think the heater sets the outlet temperature to 400 degrees Celsius. So got the properties. And outlet temperature, 400, it's in Celsius here. Perfect. So this works and I have the, so the splitter is set to, um, I believe now we'll just see in a moment. So it's set to, I think it's 10%, uh, no, 30% of the, 30% uh, of the stream or 30% of the fluid is extracted and sent back to the open feed water heater. So I can click, run and then we'll see so the execution took 0.2 seconds and then if i come and see here at 30 this is the output state of the um this is the output state of uh, the mixer or the open feed water heater we're just going to click this to get the full properties here in the table so what i want to know is what's the state coming out and is it uh is it a saturated liquid or is it a mixture? And actually here it's grayed out, but these are the actual uh, results. And I see that the vapor mole fraction, which for a single fluid is the same as the mass fraction is 0 0.106. So that's our quality. Uh, so I see that I have now a mixture. I have a, a little bit of, uh, um, uh, I have a little bit of gas um, inside coming out of the open feed water heater, which is bad for my second pump. So we often uh, prescribe, or another way of prescribing this system is to not prescribe the split, so not prescribe the ratio of steam extracted, but to prescribe the stream coming out of the open feed water heater. So maybe I want this to be a saturated liquid. So in the way that DWSIM thinks, um, if I only use sort of the standard block, so the devices in the recycle block, I have to come here to the stream splitter and I'm gonna have to do this operation repeatedly. So this is 0 0.7, 0 0.3. So here we're gonna put this at 0 0.8 and we'll put this at 0 0.2 and then I'll hit run again, 0.48 seconds. And then I'm gonna click back on 30 and I'll see now is this, uh, whoop, this is going to come in. Uh, again, this interface is a bit slow on Linux. It's just the way it's coded up and Oh, vapor mole fraction is zero, but I, I don't know if it's a subcooled liquid or if it's a saturated liquid exactly. So I would have to go and look at, um, well, I would have to go, uh, um, I would have to go and look at the, let's see, I think if I look at the results, Here's, we'll just take a second. Uh, basically, I just want to see what's the saturation temperature so that I can see if the actual temperature here, um, the actual temperature coming out, is it below the saturation temperature, which would indicate that it's actually 
a saturated liquid. So here we see that the stream temperature is 169 Celsius. And I'm going to see liquid phase properties. There should be somewhere, I should be able to see the saturation temperature. Oh, I still don't see it here. So what I'm going to do, um, so actually, this is likely not saturated. This is likely a, a subcooled uh, fluid. Because usually when I'm in the vapor dome, DW sim returns the, the liquid and the vapor phase and all of the saturation properties. So I probably uh, went too far. So I went to 0.8. So now I'm not extracting enough. I would have to heat up the fluid more to bring it to saturation. So I could put 0.25 and then 0.75. Well, this is going to get old very quickly. Um, this is going to get old very quickly having to go. Oh, now I see it's a vapor plus liquid. So I actually went too far the other way. So this is going to get old very quickly having to click everywhere. So first trick we can show is I can go to, um, this will just take a second. So I can go to, I believe it's objects. Um, there we go. So we're going to add new property table. And here I have this blank little square, I'll bring it here, I'll double click it. And then I have this configure property table. So I want information from state 30. So I'm going to say state 30. And I want it to give me, let's say I want to find the specific enthalpy. Right now, everything is on hide, I'm going to say show. And then I want the mass. I want the mass fraction of vapor. This is the quality, I'm going to say show. Close. And now I have these numbers here. Okay, so now I see my quality is 0 0.0414 something. So here, so now I can select my stream and here I can go and So I'm gonna go back to 0 0.7, 0 0.3. And this was 0 0.04, oh, this is 0 0.1. So I went too far the other way. So I'm gonna to go to 0 0.77. Oh, this is just not updating the box. There we go, 0.77. So this will be 0.23 and run. And okay, I'm closer. So I have to keep hunting. So I have to do this manually until I find exactly where I want to be. Um, so, well, now this is, this is gonna take me quite a while. So isn't there, would there be a way to actually automate this process? And it turns out there is. So what we're going to use is if I look in the logical blocks where I found the recycle block. So in the logical blocks, we have a, something called, uh, if you look up in the manual for DW sim, uh, that's available through their uh, wiki, you'll find uh, it's called the adjust block. In this particular interface, it's called the controller block. I'm just going to give myself a bit of room. And I'm going to bring this up here. And essentially what this type of block does, the adjuster block or the, the adjust block or the controller block, is it allows me to do this iterative process over and over again. So um, let's see, this is 31. So we'll just click the block and we'll get the properties here on the left in the, uh, in the tab or the pane on the left. There we go. So 31 status, it's active. So I want to define a manipulated object. So this is the object that this controller block is actually going to adjust, that it's going to iterate over. So the manipulated object, what I'm changing is the split ratio here, is the extracted fraction out of this splitter. So I'm gonna select object 17 and manipulated property. Uh, the flow spec, these are the actual flows and, and I think it's volumetric flows, but I want SR1. So current value, 0 0.77. Oh, and then it draws a dashed line. So it's manipulating this object. The controlled object. So that's basically what I'm going to look for a reference. So this is what I'm, this is the aim that I have is I want to control the state out of 30. So I'm going to say material state 30 and the controlled property. Well, now I have two choices. So here, I'm just going to, I'm going to make myself a bit of room and I'll just draw and explain why we're going to uh, use what we use. So if I draw the, so the, the cycle that we have now is 
a cooler like this. It goes out to a pump. This goes up to, this is my feed water heater where I have a stream coming in here like this, stream from the pump and a stream out to the next pump. This is pump two. We go out to a heater. This receives heat. And then we go out to two turbines. One turbine, then we extract a bit of fraction and then a second turbine, which goes out to the cooler like this. Now, if I look at this state here, I'm gonna call it, well, this is element 30. So I'm gonna call this state 30. So if I draw my TS diagram, T, so here's the vapor dome. I have three constant pressure lines. This is the pressure of the heater. This is the pressure of the open feed water heater. And this is the pressure of the condenser. So in this example, this is 10 kilopascals. This is one megapascal. And this is five megapascals. So I want my state 30 to be exactly here on this line. But the way that DWSIM reports the values is the quality, the mass fraction. So X is going to be within 0 to 1 when it's inside the vapor dome here. And when it goes above, it's just going to write it as one, even though, because the quality doesn't really make sense, right? It's just a single superheated. There's no quality there, but it will just set it to a value of one. And below, when we go to the subcooled liquid, it's going to set this to a value of zero everywhere. So I'm going to have, I, I expect I'm going to have a problem if I try to iterate. So if I use the quality directly to iterate, then there's going to be a change underneath the vapor dome, but as soon as the iterator goes to the subcooled region, it's always zero. So it might return any of these points as the correct value, but that's not what I want. I want to be exactly on the saturation line. Well, look what happens if I follow this constant pressure line. These all correspond to different entropies. So I could use the entropy. I could say, well, change the extracted fraction until the entropy is equal to the saturated value. That's the SF in the tables. Um, I could equally use the enthalpy. This is a TS diagram, you don't see it, but you could draw a TH. Well, the enthalpy also goes down when I'm in the subcooled region, if I go further into the subcooled region. And this would be HF, the, the saturation, the liquid saturated enthalpy. And there would be intermediate values between HF and HG inside the vapor dome. And then the enthalpy would keep going up. So enthalpy, entropy, um, density to a certain degree would all work. We could pick any of those. So here, I'm just gonna stop drawing. So we're gonna go here, I'm gonna get my drawing back. So I'm going to select as the controlled property. I'm going to select, I like to select the enthalpy. I'm gonna say specific enthalpy of the mixture. So knowing that if it's a saturated liquid, well, it's a mixture of one component. And here it says the current value is 793 point something kilojoules per kilogram. Well, what value should it be? Ha, huh. so I need to tell uh, DWSIM what value to use. So the way I'm going to do this, I'm gonna create just an extra material stream that's completely disconnected from anything. See, it just floats there on its own. So I'm going to go and click this element. I'm gonna get its properties. When DWSIM has a material stream that's just sitting there, sort of in free space, I'm able to specify a single state. So I'm gonna come here, there we go. And I'm gonna say specified variables, I want pressure and vapor fraction. So I want at one megapascal, this is a thousand kilopascals, I want a vapor mole fraction of zero. It's the same as the vapor mass fraction. Uh, for a single fluid. Okay, so if I click run, you'll see this turns blue, and now these data here will be filled in, and you'll see the specific enthalpy will be some values. It should be from memory 764 point something. Here, if I just hover, it takes a little bit of time to update. It should be faster on your machine if you're using Windows. Well, this is, yeah, I'm just gonna do some magic. There we go. So the values have updated. It's 762.683 kilojoules per kilogram. So I'm gonna select the adjust block. 
So you see now that we're inside the vapor dome, our specific enthalpy is higher. And so we want it to decrease. So we probably have too high of a split. And here I'm going to say the referenced object. It's basically the value that I'm aiming for. I'm going to say use referenced object. And the reference object will be 32, like so. And the referenced property will be the same as here, the specific enthalpy. So specific enthalpy of the mixture. And the current value is 762. Now this state here, it's completely specified without touching the cycle. So it's always going to be the same value. And I'm gonna say, so the set point is essentially the error. That's the adjust, the adjuster, or the, the iteration is going to run until the two values are equal to within this much. So I'm gonna make it a bit smaller. I make this 0 0.001, so three digits accuracy. And I'm gonna say run with the simultaneous adjust solver and I'm gonna click play. And then you'll see the numbers will change here in the window. And you'll see red, this is going to be solved. There we go. So now it's hunting for the right answer. And it found an answer to within five times 10 to the minus seven. So the mass fraction is almost, I mean, it's essentially zero. And if I come and click here on the split ratio, or the splitter, I'm sorry, then I will get here in the properties tab, we will see exactly what the, um, what the splitting values are. Actually, I have it here, it says current value 0.78. So the answer is 78.2% of the fluid goes straight to the second turbine, and I'm extracting 21.8% of the fluid and sending it back to the open feed water heater. And that sends state 30 exactly on the saturated line.